You're watching Lynn TV. I'm Lucy Robson with this week's main stories. US investment consultant firm PIMCO was due to deliver its final report on the due diligence review of the Cypriot financial sector today as part of Cyprus's application for an EU bailout made last June. This week, ratings agency Fitch downgraded the Bank of Cyprus, the Popular Bank and the Hellenic Bank following a downgrade of Cyprus's sovereign rating. Fitch said that the downgrades were due to the uncertainty of timing of an EU bailout. Terms are expected to be finalised after the presidential elections this month. Meanwhile, Russia has said that it is ready to contribute to the financing of Cyprus alongside the EU. And three tourists, all teenagers, pleaded not guilty to the manslaughter of a British soldier, stabbed to death in a nightclub brawl in Ayanapa last November. The three suspects are being held in Nikisi's central prison. The trial will continue in April. And this week the government began reprinting ballot papers for next month's presidential elections, following complaints by Guinness World Records Limited over the unauthorised use of its logo by one of the 11 presidential candidates. Independent candidate Andreas Estradiou was authorised to use the logo in 2007, but was deprived of the right four years later. And the number of visitors to Cyprus for sports tourism recorded an increase of 19% in 2011 year-on-year, year, generating approximately €20 million Euros in revenue. The Cyprus Tourism Organisation says that sports visitors have increased steadily since 2009. And finally, the Cyprus Tourism Organisation said that an increase in tourism from Germany is expected this year and the future is favourable, following a visit to Frankfurt last week. In response to market growth, there will be an increase in the number of seats on flights from Germany to Cyprus in 2014. Well, that's all for this week's News Roundup. Visit our print version news for details about what's on in Paphos. Please follow the link on our homepage. We'll be back on Monday with a fresh update of local news.